Kia ora listeners, let's learn sumo. Welcome back to the podcast. Don't forget to join me on Instagram or Twitter at Let's Learn Sumo. Those of you joining me on YouTube, uh, welcome. It's a new uh, form of putting my podcast out there. Uh, we are at day one of the Osaka Haru Basho. Uh, we should enjoy the next 15 days of sumo in Osaka. I wish I was there. A friend of mine is. I'm sure she'll enjoy it. So let's get into some news. We've got one rookie, Takeru Fuji, from Isagahama Stable. That is the stable of our Yokozuna Terano Fuji. He comes up for the first time into Makuchi Division. Takakesho, he, our Ozeki, he is Karaban, so that means he needs to get uh, Kachikoshi eight wins or he will drop back to Sekiwake. He loses that Ozeki protection. Go back and listen to the Ozeki and Karaban episode for a bit more detail there. He does say that he's in good shape and his neck is better than it was in January when he went Kyujo in January, so uh, good news there for him. Terano Fuji uh, is appearing this time. He says he's training well, but as usual, he says he's not very fit. He hasn't really trained that much. I think there's a little bit of sandbagging going on there. And he is looking for his 10th Yusho win, which he is desperate to get. Uh, he's been really trying hard, and after his ninth in January and humiliating Kirishima on the last day, I think he's a pretty good chance of doing that. Kirishima, he'll be trying to recover from his awful loss to Terano Fuji in January to start his rope run Yokozuna show he is uh, up to being a Yokozuna. So let's get into a little bit of news on the Hokuseiho Miyagino stable uh, scandal, a little bit of an update. Tamagaki is uh, the acting Oyakata, as I said in the last uh, episode, and he brought in new rules to try and get a bit of control, get uh, all his rikshi in, uh, in the stable under control, find out what's going on there, uh, stop them going out and socialising so he can uh, ensure that he knows who's who in the zoo. Uh, he states he won't be keep going after the Haru Basho in Osaka and he will only be doing it for the, a very short period of time. So the news is that there's a little bit of consideration as to whether they're going to break this stable up and close it. Uh, the JSA is considering that and whether they're going to allow Hakuho to keep going or to move all the rikshi to another stable. That would be a very poor outcome for the wrestlers, I think, and uh, uh, a lot of them joined because they want to be trained by Hakuho. Hakuho, uh, the Yokozuna, so uh, moving them, including our new wonder kid, Hakuoho, uh, he would then have to move to a new stable. I don't know that they would get a choice. I think uh, the JSA is talking about if they did do it, it would move all of them to a new uh, stable, and that's just the way it is. So you'd probably find a few people might quit at that point. No news yet. Uh, it's just a bit of scuttlebutt, a bit of rumour, so we'll uh, watch that and I'll bring you any updates. So to day one, or should I call it Hatakikomi Slapdown Day, or Day of No Mongolian Wins. It was uh, quite an interesting day. Uh, let's start at the top of the top of the uh, order. Teru no Fuji, our Yokozuna, he was up against Nishikigi for the last match of the day. Nishikigi took a win by Yurakiri. He doesn't get a Kinboshi star. He doesn't get uh, the extra pay because he is in the Sanyaku ranks at Komosubi. Look, it was a really good fight. Uh, Nishikigi got the arms of Teru no Fuji early. He kind of lost them. He went for a, ba a belt grip and... Uh, he got pushed back to the bales, but he recovered, and Nishkigi forced forward and took the Yokozuna out with a bit of a belt grip, and uh, that's all she wrote for Terano Fuji. It was really not a good win, not a good loss for him on the first day, and uh, Nishkigi put up a, a pretty good uh, effort there to uh, take the Yokozuna down. First Mongolian, it goes down. Abi takes on Kirishima, the Ozeki. Uh, look... Arby got a double-handed attack from the touchy eye and then stepped slightly to the right for a pull-down. Hikiyatoshi pull-down. Uh, Kirishima just got a bit over-committed and Arby, I would call it a after touchy eye hanker, if you could call it that, because he, he met the touchy eye, then pulled away and pulled him down. Kirishima just got overbalanced, and another Ozeki goes down. One more Mongolian down for the night. Ura, I was looking forward to this match. Ura versus Hoshoryu. Well, I would call this one probably my 
match of the night. I quite enjoyed this one. Ura, look, it was a big uh, a big clash at Tachi Eye. Big double-handed attack by our Ozeki Hoshoryu, but Ura did a bit of a Midori Fuji. Got his arm up under Hoshoryu's shoulder, circled and dragged him down for a big win. Huge cheer from the crowd in Osaka Stadium for a Karasukashi swing down. Uh, very much like a Midori Fuji uh, that he hasn't been able to execute on Hoshoryu before, but Ura did. Another Mongolian goes down. Asanayama takes on the battle hamster of Takakesho. Big Hatakikomi by Takakesho. Asanayama exchanged a few thrusts, but Takakesho took the advantage. He got in behind Asanayama, and Asanayama just couldn't get the belt, and he goes down face first. So, big win from the Ozeki there. First win for the Ozeki. Kota Nowaka took on uh, Atami Fuji. Uh, look, they both went for the grip. Atami Fuji met at the Tachi. I got a second hit, but Atami Fuji got beaten... Uh, by a Hitaki Komi slap down again. Uh, Kotonowaka moved a bit right, and when he didn't get the grip, he got the back of Atami Fuji's neck. Look, he's very confident, very versatile. Uh, Kotonowaka is in good form. He's certainly improved his uh, wrestling up to this point. Daesho meets uh, our uh, Sekiwake, meets Meisei. Meisei, you know, they got into a bit of a thrusting battle, and I was sitting there, and as I sat there, watched the thrusting battle. I said to myself, don't get in a thrusting battle with Daesho. You need to be perfect if you're going to do that. Well, Meisei was perfect. He got a big thrusting uh, battle with Daesho. A little bit of a hanker to the side, if you can call it that, to see Daesho fall face first for a loss. Suki Yatoshi thrust down, they call it officially. Uh, Meisei takes the win. Wakaboto Haru was up before that uh, versus Oho. Big forearm attacks by Wakamoto Haru. Oho couldn't resist it, and Wakamoto Haru, good patience, good power, and he really got a big, decent power thrusting attack, and he finished with a big, you know, well, a big thrust to help Oho out of the ring backwards. Uh, did help him get back up. It was a good, strong win there by uh, Oshidashi for Wakamoto Haru. A good start by him. He uh, showed a pretty good stable base there. I was very impressed. Tobizaru versus Takanosho back in the back in the uh, field. Tobizaru looked in a little bit of trouble from the touchy eye, but he, look, he got a pretty good lateral movement to get out of trouble. He exchanged a few thrusts. Uh, with Takanosho. Uh, Takanosho, I was really impressed with his stable base. He really had a good stable base, but he got a, a bit of a hit from Tobizaro, which put him upright, up on his toes, and he went out Oshidashi. It was a really good win by Tobizaro, but uh, I think Takanosho, he's, he showed a really good stable base there. He's got something he can work on to uh, improve. Midori Fuji versus the big round belly man Hiradumi. Hiradumi got a really huge touchy eye. It was forceful, and he just got under Midori Fuji, lifted him and steamrolled him straight back out. Suki Yadashi, a chest thrust out. Uh, I did note that Hiradumi had a lovely big black eye on his right side. Uh, I would suggest that's from training. Uh, obviously, it hasn't affected him at all. Bit of a uh, small man loses to a larger man battle. That one. Surugishu versus Onosato. Look, this was a quick win by Onosato, a Yorikiri. Got in a big rear deep grip by Onosato on the belt and just added his head to shove Surugishu out. Kimbozan versus Gonoyama. Look, it's a pretty soft, touchy eye here. Uh, Kimbozan got in a good position. They did uh, thrust a little bit. Uh, Kimbozan got in a good position, got a really good outside grip, and just turned and rolled Gonoyama over the over his hip uh, and over the bales he went. Uh, it was a uh, pretty good win there by Uwatanage. I do like the Uwatanage as a Kimaraite. Onosho versus Tamawashi. Onosho got a winner, Oshidashi. Just bulldozed Tamawashi out. Hokuto Fuji and our big bear, Takayasu. Uh, both Saitama boys, apparently. It looks a really good battle, this one. It was a good match. Very evenly uh, matched up. Lots of Nodawa neck thrusting. Uh, they gripped and they pushed. But in the end, Mitta, uh, sorry, um, uh, Takiyasu got a good, fast grip on the back of Hokuto Fuji's neck and slapped him down. Uh, it was a Hatakikomi win again. Uh, it was, as I said, it was the Hatakikomi night. 
Uh, so Takiyasu the Bear takes a win there. Shodai versus Koto no Koto. Let me try that again. Koto Shoho. Uh, Shodai wins by Yorokiri. Frontal force out. Shodai immediately got under the left arm grip. Got a Sukiyanage grip uh, to lift Kota Shoho off balance and force him around and out. Shodai takes that win. Ichiyamoto, a little skinny leg man, took on Mitakayumi. Look, Mitakayumi just blew Ichiyamoto away here. Another one like Midori Fuji just got bulldozed out. Oshidashi push out. Ichiyamoto was never in it. He was too high. Mitakayumi, he's a larger man. And as I said, Ichiyamoto, those little skinny legs don't give him a lot of forward movement. Uh, it was a pretty good forearm attack. Uh, so yes, Ichiyamoto goes out. Mitakayumi gets a win. Uh, the other matches for the Knights, Shonanumi versus Sadanumi. Sadanumi got a Yurikiri win. A little bit of a grip battle there, but uh, he got into a lower position, forced Shonanumi out. Uh, Ryudan versus Shiza- Shimazumi. Uh, look, this was a really good grip battle. Uh, they uh, Tried for uh, Shimazumi, got forward as Ryudan only had one strand on his belt after a bit of a battle. Uh, Ryudan forced Shima over using his belt to get him to touch down shoulder first. Unfortunately, as he went down, uh, uh, Shimazumi went down, touched first and lost the match. But Ryudan went down and smacked his face on the bales, brought a little bit of blood out. I don't think it'll hurt him too much, Uh, but it was a pretty good win. I think he'd be happy about that. And Uwatanage over arm throw. It's a really good win there because I I thought uh, Ryudan was in a little bit of trouble. He lost his grip early in that match but he got it back and got that one strand on the Mawashi of Shimazumi. Nishiki, Nishiki Fuji and uh, Churunumi. Look, this is a big, fast, not a thrusting battle. And Nishiki, uh, Nishiki Fuji forced him back. He went in for a low belt grip, but uh, Nishiki Fuji got a good arm shoulder bar. Couldn't take advantage as Churunumi forced him back to the bales. Nishiki got off balance at the bales, but as he turned, he couldn't recover, and out he went. Uh, Miyagiru versus Kotonowaka, uh, sorry, Kitonowaka, I should say. Uh, Kitonowaka got a good push, but uh, Miyagiru got a good grip on the back of Kitonowaka's head. He got a bit too committee, committed, and another Hitaki Komi slap down. Uh, Endo, Endo versus Roga. Roga comes back into Makuchi. Endo holding on. Uh, look, you got to remember, Endo has seven Kinboshi against uh, Yokozuna on his list. Uh, so, you know, good pay packet there. Both got a good Mawashi grip, but Roga just had better balance. Enho was denied his left grip. Uh, Roga got a good left one and right to march. Endo out Yorokiri, a frontal force out, and the other not match for the night was our newcomer Takeru Fuji versus Dayamami. Uh, Dayamami, his highest was Magashira 11, so he comes back. Uh, Takeru Fuji is on debut in Makuchi with his big, bright purple Mawashi. Uh, really big shoulders and uh, trapezoid muscles. Really big. Big across the shoulders there. Takeru Fuji went for the belt with the bigger man. He got pushed back, but a decent break and switch got him out behind Dayamami and Oshidashi. Out goes Dayamami for a first up win for Takeru Fuji. So that's the first night for the Osaka tournament. Some couple of good matches there, but as I said... Uh, uh, Hitaki Komi slap down seemed to be the order of the night. A uh, couple of bad losses for the Ozekis. I thought um, they'll be very unhappy about a few of those losses. Let's see where they go for the rest of the tournament. We might uh, come back on night two for a little bit of an update. So join me again on the podcast and we'll uh, try and update as we go along in the tournament. Hakioi listeners, let's learn sumo.